Well, you know what? Um, I was reached out to about mm, three, four days ago <laughs> to be one of these fuck up speakers. Um, and I knew nothing about the program. I knew nothing about this movement. Um, but the more I chatted with the team, the more I was like, this is wonderful. This is great. Like, I love that it's an, it's an open space. It's a free environment just to like talk about how you've messed up and, and not have any, you know, negativity. And I, I just thought it would be a really great forum to kind of talk about my story and to talk about, you know, what it's like to, to feel embarrassed and to go outside and to, to give it a try. And hopefully my, my hope was that it would inspire other people to, to do that. And I just, I, I felt really connected with this movement. So I'm happy that they found me just a couple of days ago and I'm happy that I'm here. So I came to Armenia through the Birthright Armenia program, um, and my goal initially was to help develop um, a prosperous women's gymnastics program here. Um, we have a really great men's team, um, and we have girls here that have lots of promise, but we just don't have like the resources and the funding and, and just the equality that the men have. And so I, I was trying to work and work and work from afar, and I wasn't making any moves. So I thought, you know what, I got to come to Armenia. I got to see what the, what the land is like. I got to see what we have, and then we can, we can make the moves forward. And since being here and since talking to people and, you know, networking and seeing what else is available, you know, my dreams and, and my goals have spread a little bit more um, to not only just the small group of women's gymnastics, but just overall healthy, like, educating and encouraging healthy living for all um, here in Armenia through sport um, has wow. really become a real passion of mine. Wow. Competing. Um, you know what? I haven't competed in almost three years, so I got I to gotta, like think back and put myself back in my shoes. But no, my, my motto um, was that it's never too late to deliver a dream. Um, and that kind of goes for everything in my life, you know, for competing, for, you know, my job, for making friends, for stepping outside of the box and doing something like fuck up, you know, it, it it's, I guess that is my mantra is, you know, it's, it's never too late to, to try to, to do whatever those dreams are. Um, I, I, I definitely used that when I was training um, and when I was competing so that I could push myself to, to go and to do and to not be afraid to, to accomplish whatever it was that I wanted to do. So yeah, that's it. It's never too late to deliver your dream. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.